What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. Today we're going to be talking about the free fantasy pack that you can get your 98 overall Zeke, a, uh, Alan Lazard, Justin Reed, or Shaquille Griffin, right? So pretty much when you first log in, many of you guys have already done this, so pretty much you're just going to want to know how to actually get uh, the fantasy pack. I will tell you this, uh, using the 98 overall power up pass is probably going to be the best way to get these players without having to go through the stuff that they want you to do. Pretty much you're going to have to win draft games and, you know, you got to play mutt squads. A lot of stuff that I just don't want to do. So for me, because like I said, I always disclose, am I doing it? Am I not doing it? So one of the mistakes that I made, I went to look for, um, you know, challenges inside of the challenges section. It's not a challenges situation. You're going to have to go back to your menu tab um, well, under the missions tab and you'll be able to see everything that's needed. Now, I did not play any of the MCS stuff because I didn't really care about the players. Typically when EA is giving you free players, it's not you. I think we have to go back to um, Ladanian Tomlinson when he was like the level master and it started off and he was really good. Then they nerfed him and he was garbage. What matter was that? Was that like 19 or 20? I think it was like 19. Uh, one of you guys, I, I forget, bro. I've played every Madden. I just, you know, sometimes, you know, over the last six, seven years, it becomes like really, really like outrageous in the brain section because you're just like, yo, this has to stop with the stuff that goes on in the gameplay. So you try to like put it out your mind. But whenever Ladanian Tomlinson was a level master, he, that was the one free card um, that was really good. Right now, you could probably argue uh, Andre Johnson, but right here, this is what you need to do. Five head-to-head -head games, three ranked draft games, and two squad season games. Once you do all of these things, you are going to get the fantasy pack to get a free 98 overall Zeke, Al Lazard, Justin Reed, or Shaquille Griffin. Now, like I just told you guys, what I'm going to show you in the video is obviously what I went after. Lazard, who goes so loud, like that guy, you know, we know what he was all about. But his speed wasn't there. The aspect of his speed just wasn't there before. So what we're doing right now, we're going to look for him in the binder. We're going to go ahead and grab him and then take a look. I'm going to give you guys like a quick snippet of what it is uh, as far as what he's doing. And um, we're going to determine what is the best case scenario for us. Now, for a lot of you guys, when I got him before, what I like to do, even though like some of you guys are like, yo, you should raid sell the power ups too, you know, at the time that you get it. I usually, unless the power up is going for a lot, I usually hold on to the power for this reason. This guy is 6'5 and he's a deep threat, right? So he's going to be a guy that he should animate. Now, we were labbing a lot of different games today. It was a wild day today in Madden head-to-head. -head. Uh, but anyway, like you guys will be able to see all that gameplay over at GMI's World Gaming. You may get a little bit of snippets here and there or over here right here on the main channel. But he does animate. Now, I want to point out again, as I always do, remember, the archetype is everything. So for those of you guys that are building golden tickets, understand, putting the right ability slots and changing the archetype, people are going to love you. They are going to absolutely love you when you do the right thing, because it is very difficult to be able to utilize these players without that, you know, getting certain things. Like, with the physical receivers, that's going to be a W. Like, if somebody makes a physical wide receiver and gives him, like, deep threat ability slots, that person's going to be like, yo, okay, he understands it. You know, give him, give that person route runner slots, like, stuff like that. That's, when, that's what's going to make people spend money for the card. It's about the ability slots because everybody wants to save on ability points because this game is all about abilities. Although a lot of them don't work, it's all about abilities. So that's just something that people need to really understand uh, going forward. Um, you know, just be very, very careful with that. Uh, try to go out there and you don't have the proper abilities and stuff. It's a real, um, it's a game that the attributes of your cards, they don't really matter that much. And that's intentional. So when you go out there like, yeah, I got a 99 golden ticket, Jadavion Clowney, and he's not doing anything. Yeah, because his numbers are fake. But then slap an ability on him, he starts going crazy. That's something that's very important that I think a lot of you guys need to start looking at to kind of make sense about the situation because I get so many questions. Yo, Jemiah, I got this high overall card, but he's not doing anything. I know. Bro, I'm there with you. Bro, I feel your pain. That's why when you come here to watch my videos, you're like, all right, you know what? I can sit back and chill and listen to him because he knows what I'm going through. Trust me, bro. This game is disgusting, and I understand that. And I don't want you guys to feel like you're crazy because one day your card plays out of its mind, and then the next day he doesn't do anything. The game is very random. They continuously tune it, and things just don't work. And that's just the way that it is. Right here, I'm just going through uh, getting my, uh, you know, you got to get a pack from the store, get two wins, all that BS uh, on a daily basis. Got to make sure that my, um, you know, my daily objectives are done. Pretty much that's what I'm doing right now. Just to kind of give you guys insight into the breakdown. Uh, 
it's certain things that you do and look like i said i definitely 100 percent hate this game but i still owe it to you guys that have been riding with me that's like yo i'm grinding you know yo g my what's this what's that i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on there like i said i want to like the game but gameplay wise it's horrific and i don't think that they've done enough to make the game playable for you know when you have competitive in the top left like you have competitive in the top left and i had a guy earlier today just throw the ball right through my chest like he just bro he just lined up the most of you guys were in the stream he just lined up and just threw a dot right through my chest and those plays is what causes maximum rage and health issues but we'll, we'll talk about that later right now i had to go ahead and get a card for training for those of you guys that are wondering like yo jumaya why don't you quick sell a lot of the stuff that's in your binder for training it's because i have other use for it because what's going to happen is ea sports they're not done yet you see like how they just came out of nowhere and just hitting us off with this 98 overall and they're pretty much free cards when you grind for it or use your 98 overall power pass they're going to continue to do different things out of nowhere because mlb is out and mlb is drawing a lot of their audience and they have to continue to make people play they can't have downtime so you may notice that randomly there are going to be cards at the beginning dropped just out of nowhere on a regular basis and it is what it is it is you know pretty much if it's cards that we like we're gonna go after it if it's cards that are trash and it's like you know what i'm saying bro like uh you know like this is just dude it is what it is that's pretty much what i'm trying to say to you guys it is what it is um we're going to continue to do what we need to do, though, to make our teams be a little bit better. And if you guys have a Green Bay Packer theme team, you go for it. But again, the only reason we go after this guy now, he's pretty much better than Calvin Johnson. Like, I know it sounds weird, but you're playing a weird game. This guy has mid, short, every, everything is 99 on this guy. I, dude, I don't know what the... Bro, don't, don't even worry about it. When you take a look at his numbers, you'll be like, yo, what, what, what is this? He's 6'5". If you just slapped a different name on his back, this is what this is pretty much how they should have made Calvin. Also, right here, when you see that that price of that um, you know the 95 playoff card, go to the divisional. It's in the archives, the divisional playoffs, and build the card yourself. 235, bro. Like, all right, cool, whatever. Like, dudes are trying to make that bread, but look, always look at the sets before you go and just buy cards, unless you already know off the top that the card is being sold for a lot less than what the set's gonna cost you. Just take your time, go over into the sets, find you know how to make them. Sometimes the cards are not available. In this case, the cards were available, so we went for it, but sometimes it's not. So just always do your best to make sure that you're not overspending, all right? Go to the set section, see what's going on, and pretty much go from there. So now, we have everything that we need for this card. The only thing now that's gonna be happening is, when I was labbing today earlier, we, were, you know, we ran through the, um, the Jets offensive playbook, I ran the Patriots playbook. I think we did one more playbook. I don't remember what it was, but we just labbing different things. Ideally, I'm gonna go back to the uh, running gun. All right, guys, I'm going back to the running gun because I love doubles. I just love doubles. It is what it is. Like, I'm not gonna act like, dude, it is what it is. I love doubles and, you know, at this point, I'm just gonna rock with it, bro. That's just gonna be, you know, what it is because they play for me, doubles plays for me the way that, you know, trips plays for some of you guys or you trips out of the Patriots. like is just my formation for the year. And every year I find a formation that I'm very, very comfortable in, and then I start playing around and going back and forth and doing weird stuff. I, I'm gonna just stay with doubles. Anything with a good doubles, we'll go to run and gun for now and just hold it down. Now, look, you guys see what just happened. We use the 98 overall power pass. So I can now still go back if I decide to play those stupid challenges or, well, you know, the draft and the squads and all that stupidness. I can still go do that. I am choosing not to right now for my mental health and for my physical health to avoid that because the rage is just not necessary. But maybe I'll end up doing it because you guys want me to do it. It is what it is. So because of the way that my system is right now, I'm going to have to lose one of the wide receivers. You guys voted that Julio Jones was the weakest link. We should keep Braylon Edwards. Also, Braylon Edwards might have to go too. We might have to... Dude, he's a... Um, the thing that's crazy about Braylon though, Braylon is a deep threat. Andre Johnson is physical. So we can, I think we're going to give him like mid in or something. We'll give him like mid in guys and just go from there, dude. Like I think that's what we're going to do with Andre Johnson and just have him out there just going crazy. Because we don't, honestly, we don't need Braylon Edwards. You know, the uh, level master is maxed out as a gold 99. We can go ahead and sell his card and just have a good day with that. So we're going to take the abilities off of Julio Jones. We're going to, in the, in the video right now, we're going to keep Braylon Edwards. But I'm thinking about it. I think we're going to replace him, guys, and just go another route with it and just see how, you know, we can go from there pretty much. All right. So 
as you guys go through it, the, you know, these cards, all the cards are good. The Zeke is a 99 speed. Shaquille Griffin goes to a 99. Justin Reed. All these cards are good. And you can use your 98 overall power pass for any of them. It's just for right now, we chose to create uh, Alan Lazard because obviously he goes so hard. But again, we will continue to lab. We will continue to get better. And we'll figure out what works best for us as we go along this whole path right here. But I just want to show you his numbers really quickly. And just thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to go ahead and watch a GMI's World video. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Hopefully you're having a good day. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Until next time. One love, y'all.